Working with Salima Kill, Salim is my brother, and we just, our spirits and our hearts were just always aligned. Um, I love Salim's dry wit, his dry sense of humor, and his work ethic. Um, from the moment we started working together, I could call him at three, four, five o'clock in the morning, and he would get up. I remember, <laughs> one of the things I remember most was the first time that uh, I called him to say, are you ready to direct one? And he said, yeah. And he was just silent after there. I said, are you there? He said, yeah, but I gotta go because I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Some 20 years now after Soul Food, Charles Holland is my brother. We met on that show. Um, he was not brought in by me. He was brought in by Kevin Arcadi. I we had never met before. Um, but when I had the opportunity to take over the show, he was the first person I said, will you stay with me and do this? Um, there was something about his integrity, something about his heart, something about his work ethic, um, something about his leadership skills. I knew that I needed all of that um, with me and that I needed to be surrounded by what he brought just as a human being, you know, as a ride or die. Uh, all his talent and his experience, I could not have done the show without Charles. The first thing I remember about Kenya Bears when we started Soul Food is that on day one, he crashed into one of the executive producer's cars. He crashed into Kevin Arkadi's portion. That's the first thing that I remember about Kenya starting on Soul Food. But the pleasure was watching him go from, you know, writer's assistant to uh, being on the staff and watching him um, grow to the big powerhouse that you know him as today. Jeff Bird. Jeff Bird. What I remember about Jeff Bird is that he is the hustler director. Every time he came to direct an episode, he tried to talk me into getting some crazy lenses that flown in from New York. We shot the show in Toronto. He was always trying to do something that was not in the budget. Um, but every time I saw his episodes, it was well worth it. Oz Scott, Big Papa. What I remember most about Oz is that he brought some sanity to the set. He brought respect to the set. He brought many years of doing it well to the set. And when the cast saw Oz coming, everybody just relaxed and did their best work because they knew the Big Papa was in the house to bring the noise. Uh, what a pleasure, what a pleasure, what a pleasure. I feel certain that Oz directed more episodes than any other director we had. Eric Haywood. What I remember most about Eric is his sample script. It was so good. And he was referred to me by George Tillman. And all George said is like, you know, he's big deal music video uh, director. So I was like, this script is not gonna be good. But it was really good. And I still remember it to this day. And he was one of the first people, as a staff writer, he was one of the first people that we hired. And he showed up and showed out. 